This film will show you which exercises will help you to prepare for and recover from a hip replacement at the RUH. Your joint relies on the muscles around it to move and perform your daily exercises efficiently. Exercises that encourage your joint and the muscles around it to work well can significantly aid your recovery and maximise the long-term benefits of your joint replacement surgery. The exercises presented in this film should be practised prior to surgery, allowing you to familiarise yourself with them and to prepare for your joint surgery as well as possible. You can use them straight after surgery, guided by your physiotherapist on the ward. The initial exercises for you following surgery are primarily aimed at improving circulation to reduce the chance of blood clots and reduce stiffness in the new joint, which often leads to less pain. Initially after surgery, these exercises should be started with low repetitions, about three to five at a time, but repeated regularly, approximately every hour. At home, before your surgery, you should also start with low repetitions, about three to five, but you can perform them two to three times a day. Ankle pumps. Sitting in bed or on a chair, paddle your feet up and down, bending at the ankles. Static quads contractions. Sitting in bed, your leg relaxed out straight, contract the muscle on the top of your thigh, called your quadriceps muscle. It is important to isolate the muscle contraction so the muscles around your hip and the back of your thigh should remain nice and relaxed. When your quads contract effectively, you'll see your kneecap being gently pulled up your leg and your knee going straighter and flatter to the bed. Static gluteal contractions. Sitting in bed or in a chair, squeeze your bottom muscles. It should feel like your body is being lifted. Hold for a couple of seconds and then relax fully. Hip and knee bending in the bed. Sitting in bed, gently bend the hip and knee as comfort allows, keeping your foot on the bed. Then relax your leg back onto the bed. Hip abduction in bed. Lying or sitting in bed with your legs out in front of you, slowly move your operated leg out to the side, away from the other leg, and then pull it back into the middle armchair push-ups. Sitting in an armchair, place your hands on the armrests and then push down through your hands to lift your bottom off the seat, keeping your feet on the floor. Then lower your bottom back onto the seat. It can be difficult to move around the bed and stand up from sitting with a joint replacement. Therefore, if we can strengthen your arms, this can make these activities easier for you. If the initial exercises are comfortable and easy, you can start to challenge the muscles around the joint to work better with these exercises. Again, start with low repetitions, about three to five, repeated regularly, then slowly increase the repetitions as comfort allows. Standing hip exercises. Hold on to a firm surface, like a kitchen worktop. Standing on your non-operated leg, Abduction. Slide your operated leg away from the other. Make sure to keep your toes pointing forwards throughout the movement, then slowly lower to start the start position. Extension. Slide your operated leg backwards, then slowly lower to the start position. Flexion. Lift your operated leg in front of you, and then slowly lower to the start position. If after several weeks, the standing exercises are comfortable and easy, you can start to strengthen the hip muscles with these exercises. Again, start with low repetitions, about three to five, repeated regularly. Then slowly increase the repetitions as comfort allows. Side-lying leg lifts. Lying on your non-operated side, lift your top leg level with your hip. Lower slowly. Ensure your pelvis doesn't roll backwards. Bridging. Laying on your back, bend your knees to the position your feet flat on the bed. Lift your bottom off the bed and slowly lower. Hip extension. Lying on your front, lift one leg to hover just off of the bed. 
lower slowly. You have just had major joint surgery. All the muscles and soft tissues around your new joint have been stretched and will tire quickly post-operatively. The key to recovery is to get the new joint moving immediately, but only doing small amounts in one go. Little and often is the mantra. Exercise, walking, and normal activities of daily living are challenging to the new joint and should be increased gradually as comfort allows. It is normal for your leg to be swollen and to experience some pain. This is helped by regularly using painkillers, using ice, and by moving the joint regularly. Please refer to the exercise summary sheet in your hip or knee replacement patient handbook. We hope you have found this video helpful. Contact your physio team if you have any questions.